HC05 is the name of this Bluetooth serial module, which cost me two British pounds. It's very simple, it only does serial port profile. You can change a few settings, but it's about the simplest and cheapest Bluetooth module you can get. Now there's another Bluetooth module called the RN42, which does all kinds of interesting things and costs ten times as much. But the actual hardware involved, this Bluetooth system on chip, and the flash memory, is identical in both modules. What gives the more expensive one better features is the software it's running, and software can be pirated. Now a lot of people have ripped the firmware from one and ported it to the other. It's not that difficult to do, but every guide and tutorial I've seen about this has required a parallel port programmer. That's horrifically inconvenient. I mean, I haven't had a parallel port for years. So I made this project just to show that it is possible to upgrade the firmware on this without needing anything more than an FTDI serial cable. So Franz Willem is the person who reverse engineered the CSR SPI drivers, and Lorf is the person who wrote the software to bitbang that using the FTDI cable. It's not entirely straightforward, you do need quite low level access to the FTDI cable uh, beyond what the Windows COM port system gives you. So you need to replace the driver with a generic lib USB one, but it's quite easy to do that, there's a tool available for that, and also it's very easy to change back afterwards. As for the RN42 firmware, well I suppose the legitimate thing to do would be to buy an RN42 module and rip the firmware from that. But that kind of goes against the spirit of piracy for me, so about five minutes of googling will find you that. And then, in order to download it onto the HC05, you need the Blue Flash software from CSR. You have to register with CSR to download this, but it is free. So, we've managed to upgrade the firmware on our HC05 module. Now let's build something with it. Well, the RN42 firmware lets us make human interface devices, such as a gamepad. So my first thought was, take one of these old things, yes, Bluetoothify it, certainly looks cool, but it's not actually that good a gamepad, I mean, it really lacks buttons, I, I like to have a fast forward button for emulators. So then I was looking on eBay, and I saw this. This is an infrared wireless multi-pad for Super Famicom. Licensed by Nintendo, made in Japan, probably only released in Japan. Yeah, um, I don't much care for the turbo functions, but this is just so retro, I think it had to be done. So originally it had this infrared window at the front, but now I've replaced that with a bit of clear acrylic, so you can see our Bluetooth module in action. I'm using the channel select as an on-off switch. And I have previously paired this with the laptop, so when I turn it on, it should just appear. Yes! Look at that! It works! Excellent! Well, as always, I've put lots of pictures and very detailed instructions about how to build this on my website, mitzella.com. See ya!